Hey everyone, welcome back. And I'm going to be showing you how to write CSV files using C Sharp and a .NET framework called CSV Helper. This is probably the easiest way that I usually tackle this task. Um, I've done it many ways in the past, but um, CSV Helper honestly is a lot of help. So the link is in the description, but this is their main page and it says CSV Helper is a .NET library for reading and writing CSV files. It's extremely fast, flexible, and easy to use. Well, um, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is in Visual Studio, you want to go ahead and install CSV Helper. Um, usually I go to the NuGet package manager, um, or you can type it into the developer, uh, I'm sorry, the package manager console, but let's go ahead and uh, do it through the GUI. And I've gone ahead and hit search, found it. All you gotta do is just install it, and that's pretty much it. I'll accept the agreement, and now CSV helper has been installed in this project this is just a simple console application i'm going to make sure that i am using csv helper at the top so go ahead and type that out if it's not auto populated and as you can see i have a small template here we have a class called employee and we have a first name last name and age as properties with a constructor so i've gone ahead and constructed or created three objects for three employees and I'm gonna go ahead and place these on a list. So I'm gonna say list of type employee. Let me change the name of the actual list. Employees. And I'm gonna include the first employee, the second employee, and the third employee. Okay. Um, we probably wanna set a path for the CSV file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, folder path and for now i'm going to use directory dot get current directory and what that does is it retrieves the current directory of the application instance that's running um and then i'm gonna say um path dot combine oops oops we'll do csv folder And that's the path. I'm going to say path dot combine folder. And I want to store all the CSV files in a folder called CSV files. And so what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and add a folder to the folder path. And last but not least, um, I want the CSV file path. And I'm going to use combine as well, which will be the CSV folder path. And the name of the file is going to be employees.csv. Okay. And one major thing you want to do is make sure that you create the CSV folder path if it doesn't exist. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check for that. And we're going to use the, um, let's do directory dot, whoops directory dot exists csv folder path but we want to change it to if it does not exist create it so it'll be directory dot create directory csv folder path so now that we have that all set up um what we want to do is we want to navigate back to the csv helper website which kind of guides us through um, on how to use um, csv helper and so we're going to be writing a csv file here you can see that they have an example instead of employees, they have a class called foo with two properties, an ID and a name. And they set them up on a list as well. And this is all you need. We're gonna use a stream writer and the CSV writer to go ahead and write the uh, CSV file. That's pretty much it. Uh, makes things a lot less complicated. So let's get that going here and I'll paste it. And instead of records, remember, it's going to be um, the list of employees. So it'll be just employees. And um, let's see here. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. 
All right, so my output is current employees. Actually, let's change the output. This is, oh, we got an error. Could not find part of the path. This is the part of my path, oops. Um, so what we want to do, oh, well, I copied and pasted that. So let's go ahead and replace this, my bad. CSV file path. And let's try it again. Well, before that, I did want to change the output of this application. So let's go ahead and say creating employee CSV file. And then once it's done, we're going to go ahead and say file has been created. Okay, let's start that up again. And here's my console output. And as you can see, creating employee CSV file and then file has been created immediately. So that's it. Now, because we're using the directory dot get current directory um, method, I usually like to just right click on my actual um, application and then at, very, at the very bottom click on open folder in file explorer and so then we can navigate to the bin folder debug .net 7 and as you can see we have a folder with the csv files so let's go ahead and double click on that and this one i believe let's see which one csv employee csv so this is this is the file i made this one earlier let's go ahead and delete that and let's double click it so if you have Excel, it'll automatically open up in Excel. But what's nice is you can see it has the headers with the property labels, first name, last name, and age. And we have all of our data. Um, so this is nice because I don't have to really worry about the lines or anything like that as long as I have a specific um, class representing the objects for each record in a CSV file, um, all I gotta do is pretty much um, provide that list of objects to the CSV writer. And this makes things a lot easier. So next time you have an assignment um, or your boss tells you, hey, I need a quick CSV file to be written for a bunch of records that are found in the database, pull those records and then just feed them into the CSV writer like I'm doing here. I'm using the write records method um, or function and provide the list as the argument. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.